It's a new beginning that starts with a familiar question. Where to? By enabling people to use their smartphones to summon rides from an abundance of cars zipping around major cities, ride-sharing service Uber Technologies continues to disrupt the traditional taxi service business model. At the same time, it's fighting government regulators and others looking to disrupt Uber's business, primarily by using a technology called Grayball. People familiar with the technology tell the Wall Street Journal that Grayball tracks the government officials and shows them dummy versions of the Uber app with fake cars driving around streets so they can obtain accurate data on the surface. And they say Uber has also employed other methods to identify opponents to the service, such as using its mapping technology and identifying government-issued credit cards. But now the Wall Street Journal's Greg Bensinger reports that Uber says it will stop using technological tools to evade government officials seeking to identify and block the services drivers who fail to obey regulations. Quote, we are expressly prohibiting the technology's use to target action by local regulators going forward. We've had a number of organizations reach out for information and we will be working to respond to their inquiries once we have finished our review said Joe Sullivan, Uber's chief security officer, in a statement. Uber also says it's used the technology for other purposes, including testing new features, issuing marketing promotions, preventing fraud, and protecting drivers from physical harm. The announcement comes as pressure builds on Uber. A member of the European Parliament for the Dutch Democratic Party last week called for an investigation into the legality of Grayball. <laughs> And officials in Portland, Oregon, where the gray ball program was deployed in 2014, have also called for an investigation. Uber was operating there when regulations barred ride-hailing companies. The use of Grayball is the latest controversy to hit the San Francisco ride-hailing firm, valued by investors at $68 billion with more than 40 million monthly users. Uber's investigating recent allegations from a former employee of sexism and sexual harassment in the office, as well as reports of difficult working conditions under its chief executive, Travis Kalanick. 